This is the MaxWest Neo 4G Flip. This is the new X offering from MaxWest, and it's a pretty decent device. It does have a camera, has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It also has a micro USB port, not the most loved, but it does have it here on the outer shell. It will give you your notifications. And of course, this is a flip phone. I think the camera is not placed well as it is on this part instead of on the front right here. So when you open, you're more likely to cover it with your fingers. There's also the keys, of course. And as you see right here, when you have the keys, they are plasticky feeling. There's a couple of extra buttons for music playing and nothing special, nothing super amazing, but it does get the job done. And it costs about $79 US. You may be able to find it for cheaper uh, if you wait on Amazon for certain sales. I'll be sharing one of these phones with you guys in a giveaway, so make sure to stay tuned if you like this device. It also has dual SIMs. Uh, it only works with AT&T and T-Mobile and more reliably with T-Mobile. AT&T is mostly MVNOs and T-Mobile any network. MVNOs are the main network. Uh, so let's jump into the settings. Uh, right here, let's go here, call log settings. Then you have SOS, which it does have um, kind of like an SOS mode, but it doesn't have an SOS button. Then you have the call settings. You have dual SIM, flip to answer, call divert, call waiting. It does have some of the basic features that we're expecting. Time and date, auto power on and off. This is beloved from uh, Thread X devices. So you have the display, wallpaper, contrast, backlight, etc., etc. You have it for the keypad bike backlight as well. So you, you have it set up right there. You can put it always on if that's something that you enjoy. You have security, pins, privacy, things of that nature, nothing too great. And then you have the connections, which will be lighted up once you insert a SIM card. I have taken my SIM card since I'm taking now into a different device I'm testing for the last few um, days. I just switched it, but it does work again with T-Mobile and AT&T more reliably with T-Mobile. You have the camera, uh, nothing special uh, to see here. It's uh, definitely a very decent and serviceable camera if you need to see something, uh, if you need to send like an emergency text or something like that, but it's not going to win any awards, so do not expect it to do so. You have the tools, Torch, Bluetooth, eBook, which you can load, even though it does not support really large files, calculator, alarm, calendar, world clock, unit conversion, and stopwatch. So a lot of the main needs. You're able to load your audio via uh, right here if you connect it or via micro SD card as well if that's what you're looking for in order to have your audio all the way. It does accept I believe up to 16 gigs that's the max. I try to put a 32 gig card and it did not read it very well so I will say 16 gigs of extra storage that's what it's probably going to have. It does have Bluetooth and it does work well it does connect with pretty much everything that you can put it so the Neo Flip LTE is a good option there. You have contacts and whenever you get a new contact you can have the name, mobile, phone number, classification and maybe a default ringtone that you can try to change. The multimedia will just show you your files you have audio and music right there I don't think and I don't believe there is an FM radio on this one as there is on other ThreadX devices. But again, it's it's very good. And the Max SIM kit, whenever you have, you have it installed, it allows you to get the APMs very quickly. One of the main additions for this device is that it does have group MMS. As you see here, right, it has new SMS and it also has new MMS. So you're able to send group text messages and receive them. You'll still receive them on inbox and outbox format drafts and send uh, sendbox right here. Uh, however, at least you have the ability to have it. Security inbox is something that you can only read uh, if you have that for your messages, something private, and you're able to have it. I think that's a very nifty feature. You have broadcast message templates that you can create, etc., cetera, et cetera. Overall, the device is very good for its price. It's basic, it does what it needs to do, and it's not cutting a lot of corners, except, of course, on the materials and the ports, but that is kind of expected from these devices as they're not premium devices that are aimed for the basic phone market. Now, I think 
specifically for seniors, sometimes people ask me about this, it's maybe a decent device. The font is a little small, so you may not be able to see everything. Um, and that's something that it's not adjustable yet. So maybe that's something that they can improve on ThreadX in the future, but it does make phone calls back and forth and it's serviceable if you're trying to use it again on T-Mobile uh, carriers. Now there is a couple of um, extra things that I would like to note, and that is that um, it does have different profiles and I actually appreciate that. So it has a silent profile, meeting, indoor, outdoor, and you can configure it a, a little bit or add your own. Uh, you can ring settings, volume, ring type, other alerts, things of that nature, and it does it very well. Um, the reflectivity is decent, as you see right there. It's kind of like you'll still be able to see the screen even in sunlight, but of course it's not compared to an e-ink screen like, like the light phone, for example. But it does work well. It's a very good device, and for $60 to $70, I think it's a good option to test it out, maybe get it from Amazon, see if it... it supplies your needs with group text messages or whatever it is. But that's the MaxWiz Neo Flip LTE. If you have any questions about it, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll be replying in there. If you have anything else or any of the other devices, make sure that you put them there as well and I'll be interacting with you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.